what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel look at this nice and beautiful question on the board that we're going to be solving and the question says for real number x find the value of x for which x to the 5 plus x to the 4 plus 1 is equal to 0. now notice that this is a quintic equation and in this quintic equation we are missing x to the power of 3 x to the power of 2 and x to the power of 1 so our first step will be for us to introduce those missing terms to the given equation so we have x to the power of 5 plus x to the fourth now let's bring out those missing terms plus x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 plus x to the power of 1 x to the power of 1 is the same thing as x now plus 1 so plus 1 remember that originally x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 plus x was not in the original equation we brought them in now let's remove them so let's remove x to the power of 3 let's remove x to the power of 2 and also remove x very good so we brought them in and we also removed them making the all of this expression to be the same as the original one so it's as if we didn't bring in anything in the first place now our next step will be for us to group them we're going to be grouping them three by three so take the first three terms take the second three terms and the third three terms so for the first three terms you notice that x to the power of three is common so we're going to be factoring that out x to the 3 now x to the fifth divided by x to the 3 I'm going to be having x squared plus now x to the fourth divided by x to the 3 I'm going to be having x plus now x cubed divided by x cubed is 1 now let's go with the second three terms you notice that nothing is common so we're going to be writing it down like that so we have plus x squared plus x plus 1 now for the third three terms you notice that negative x is common so we're going to be factoring out negative x now let's divide negative x cubed divide by negative x I'm going to be having x squared now negative x squared divide by negative x I'm going to be having plus x now negative x divide by negative x I'm going to be having plus 1 very good and this is equal to 0 so I was supposed to put 0 here very good now notice that x squared plus x plus 1 is common we have it here we have it here and we also have it here so our next step will be for us to factor out x squared plus x plus 1 so let's bring that out so x squared plus x plus 1 factored out now let's go so this expression divide by x squared plus x plus 1 I'm going to be having x cubed so x cubed now coming to this this expression which is x squared plus x plus 1 divided by x squared plus x plus 1 I'm going to be having plus 1 minus now this expression divide by x squared plus x plus 1 I'm going to be having x so x 
and this is equal to zero and let me rearrange this we have x squared plus x plus one times rearranging this we have x cubed minus x plus one and this is equal to zero so we have two cases we have x squared plus x plus one to be equal to zero or we have this other case which is x cubed minus x plus one to be equal to zero we're going to be solving these cases one after the other let's do that on the next slide now for the first case we have this quadratic equation since the question requires us to find real values of x let's check if we're going to be having real values of x from here by looking for the discriminant discriminant is equal to b squared minus 4ac so from this equation b is 1 and c is also 1 so let's substitute here so discriminant is equal to b squared that's one squared minus four times a a is one I didn't write that so a is one times c c is one so the discriminant is equal to one squared is one minus four times one times one is four now notice that the discriminant is negative so this is not a real solution so we're going to be rejecting this since x is real number now let's move on to our second case so write case 2 here for our second case we have x cubed minus x plus 1 to be equal to 0 well this is a cubic equation which is of the form x cubed plus px plus q equal to zero for cubic equation that is of this form we use the cardano's formula which is given us x equal to the cube root of negative q over 2 plus the square root of q squared over 4 plus p cube over 27 plus cube root again of we are going to be having the same thing the only difference is this sign so we have negative q over 2 so instead of writing plus we're going to be writing minus the square root of q squared over 4 plus p cube over 27 now comparing what is given to us or what we have to this original expression you notice that p is negative one so p is negative one and q is one so q is one so now let's substitute the value of p and q here in order to get the value of x so we have x to be equal to the cube root of negative q q is 1 that's negative 1 over 2 plus the square root of q squared that's 1 squared 1 squared is 1 all over 4 plus now p cube that's p is negative 1 so negative 1 cube will also give you negative 1 all over 27 plus the cube root of now we're going to be having the same thing here the only difference is this sign so we have negative 1 over 2 minus the square root of 1 over 4 plus negative 1 over 27 let's move to the next slide 
to complete our calculations. So on simplifying, we have x to be equal to the cube root of negative 1 over 2 plus the square root of 1 over 4. Now plus times minus gives minus 1 over 27. Now plus the cube root of negative 1 over 2 minus the square root of 1 over 4 plus times minus is minus 1 over 27. Now simplifying further, we're going to be taking the LCM of 4 and 27 and that is 108. So we have x to be equal to the cube root of negative 1 over 2 plus the square root of now the LCM of 4 and 27 is 108. We are combining the fraction. So 108 divided by 4 is 27 times 1, that's 27. Minus. Now 108 divided by 27, that's 4 times 1 is 4. Plus the cube root of we have negative 1 over 2 minus the square root of now what we have here we're going to be having the same thing here which is 108 now 27 minus 4 so this result to x equal to the cube root of negative 1 over 2 plus the square root of now 27 minus 4 is 23 so we have 23 over 108 plus the cube root of we have negative 1 over 2 minus the square root of the same thing which is 23 over 108 well continued solving will give you an approximate value of negative 1.32 four seven and there you have it approximate value well feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video go ahead and give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos and like i always say until next time take care